Hey guys, welcome to my travel channel, Goose Adventures. I'm doing my first live stream here and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, everybody who followed me over here. I appreciate you all so much. Um, let's see here. It looks like there are 186 of you that joined me over here. That's wonderful. Let me know if you can hear me okay. And um, we'll get going here. I see a hi, Jen. I think you can hear me. Yay. Hello, guys. I'm so excited. You joined me on my first, my inaugural broadcast here on Goose Adventures. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I really do. Can I just say a huge thank you to Jay? As much as I like to give him a hard time, he is my tech guy. I could not do this kind of stuff without him. Thank you, Jay, for that. I just realized my screen is weird. Um, hold on. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let me see. I can fix this. I think it's this. Yeah. I can make the picture bigger and fix. Oops. Not that. Um, so sorry guys. I'll, I'll read your comments in just a second. Hold on. I don't know how to change that, but it's fine for me. Okay. Sorry. My picture I didn't realize was teeny. I'm trying to make it bigger so you guys can see what's going on, but I'm here. I'm here. Thank you. So much for being here. Um, if you, the there's no, I'm not monetized on this channel yet, so there's no super. So you won't. Um, if you if you're like, hey, it's missing. It's not. It just it's not an option on this channel yet. But thank you guys just being here, and supporting me so much. Because even if we just go for like 20 minutes or something, that watch time times however many people are on is huge for this channel. It really gives it a bump and a boost. So thank you. So I am yours, and I mean that in a sexy way. No, I'm teasing. I'm I'm yours. I'll talk about anything you want. Um, we can talk about travel, whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm here for it. And thank you. Let me say thank you to everybody who's joined. I appreciate it. And Jay, thank you for making this possible for me. Sure. Yeah. It's I, it's so complicated to hand it off to yourself. I guess they never thought people would do that. So. I'm making you a mod right now. I just realized I don't think you are one on this channel. So let me do that. Hey, hold on. Great. There you go, Jay. You have power. You have authority. <laughs> All right. I'm here, guys. Let me say hi to everybody. Thank you for joining me over here. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. So many of you followed me over. Thank you, Mary Taylor, Liz. Auntie Z, Margaret, Daughter of Darkness, Jackie. Diane loves a lot of life. Thank you, Maggie, Gretchen, Tess. All right, let's just read some of these comments and um, we'll just have a conversation. I'm just so glad to have you guys here. This is so exciting for me because, again, this is my dream to work on this channel. And God, I just can't even explain to you how much this means to me, uh, just getting this channel up and running. It's been a labor of love. Um, you know, trying to figure out how to get places and how to film and then filming in 4K and stuff. I'm trying to do the best I can and get this thing up off the ground. So uh, I just need much more watch time. I think the requirement is 4,000 hours of watch time and I'm at about 1,000 hours. So I got, I got more to go. So let's just talk and watch and do all the things. But thank you guys for being here. All right. Um, ooh, Graceland. I love this. One of my dreams is to go fabric shopping in Paris. Tell me everything. Do you, um, do you make clothing What what kind of, do you do like upholstery type fabric? What kind of a fabric are we shopping for? Take me along on your adventure. Tell me everything. Um, Maggie says best place, Florence, Italy, forever love Paris. I know let's, let's play a game. Shall we? How about, oh, thank you, Liz. I appreciate that. I got crap on the first video where they're like, you don't know how to film your Swinging the camera around, it's because I make a conscious effort not to put my camera in people's faces. So thank you. That means so much. But um, going back, let's play a game. How about if we all won the lottery tonight? If I won the lottery and gifted each of you your dream place, leave me a comment either in the live chat or down below. Where are we going? Because we're all going together. Where are we going? Tell me where your, your dream place is. All expenses paid. Uh, let's say I pay for two weeks somewhere. Where are we going? Let, let me know that in the comments. We'll start with that. Jay, I'm going to put you on the spot. I just hit the lottery and I'm paying for us to go anywhere in the world for two weeks. All expenses paid. Where are we going and what are we doing? 
Well, my dream has always been Japan. Um, looks like a fun place. I like the city. I like the country. I took Japanese in college, so uh, I can speak a little Japanese. Um, it's been forever. I don't get to use it often. But uh, they have a Disney. They have a Universal if the other stuff is too, uh, I don't know, too much. Yeah. And uh, it's got a lot of variety in the weather. The, I think one of the snowiest places in the world is in the nor northern part, and then it's basically a tropical jungle on the bottom. So it's a small country, but it's really long. Uh, that'd probably be my number one. Uh, you know, Australia's cool too. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm loving your answers. I'm reading them all as Jay was telling that. So apparently we're going so many places. Oh, she bends not breaks, says Kyoto. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Let's go. Uh, Merch Marie says Hong Kong, sounds lovely. Uh, Kathy Clark, Ireland, excellent choice. AB says Cayman Islands. Oh my gosh, I was lucky enough to go there on a cruise one time. It's so beautiful. Bebop says Seychelles. That is on my list too. And I'll be totally honest with you. I didn't even know it existed until I remember uh, William and Catherine had gone there. And I was like, oh, what is this place? And I um, started looking into it way back when. I think they went for their honeymoon too. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm scrolling to catch up with comments. I don't mean to miss anybody. Uh, Rosa Lily says Toscana, Italy. Yes. Jan says Alaska. Tina Astronaut says Salzburg. We're going to a lot of fun places, guys. Purple is me. Pam says Ireland. I love it. Uh, Tabitha H says lots of places in Europe. Hey, I just got a coffee tip. Thank you so much. Listen, I never am pressuring anybody to tip. This live stream doesn't do the the, the supers. So if you it's totally up to you. If you wanted to tip, that's the way to do it now. It's under um, ko-fi slash Real Housewives Recaps. Thank you so much. I'll look up your name and give you a shout out. And then I'm going to go back to this list because this is really fun to read your dreams of places to go. Hold on. Let's see here. We give a shout out to, it's refreshing. Let's see. Ah, Ellen C. Thank you so much. It says, love you, Jen. Thanks for providing a place to support Princess Catherine. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Diane, for the um for the earlier tip too. Thanks for your comments. You said it all feel better. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, and then Laura, Susie, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And KPWHU, thank you for the coffee. I really appreciate it so much all right let's get into some of these comments and read them because i love reading your answers i'm scrolling back up see what i missed jenny b says united kingdom in spring oh, love it moon's path says united kingdom you know i haven't i haven't actually answered this question i i have two answers if that's allowed <laughs> i want to go everywhere but my number one place in the whole world is england so my i, I just have to pick england but um if it's somewhere i haven't been Gosh, I don't know. I'm going to say Switzerland. I've always wanted to see Switzerland. And so I might pick Switzerland. But there's so many places. It's so hard. And now everywhere you guys are naming is where I want to go as well. All right, scrolling back up. Uh, Shell says Santorini. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, I've seen pictures. <gasps> Flower Meerkat says Sarajevo, Sarajevo is wonderful. So is Croatia. I've seen Croatia in videos like on the I love below deck and they always go to Croatia and I think, oh, that looks beautiful. But yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Marion says we're going to the La La Land Chateau in France. Uh, sign me up. That sounds great. Diane picked Scotland, Ireland, Wales, New Zealand, South Korea, Egypt, Russia. I'd love to go. I want to go to everywhere in the world too. Maggie says Scotland. Lisa says Oak Island, Halifax. Oh my gosh, these places sound amazing. I love it. Sorry, I'm... If I miss yours, I'm sorry. I'm trying to scroll down. Ann Eubank says, what's the most beautiful place you've ever seen? That is so hard to answer because there's just, there's two that come to mind. My first place is always going to be England. I just love England. I'm obsessed. I really am. I There's just something that I'm so connected to in England. But honestly, I think um, the Scottish Highlands. I've... I literally broke down in tears when I saw it. I could not believe how beautiful it is. It's 
otherworldly beautiful. I've I could tell you all day long it's got these incredible mountains, but seeing it and feeling like it, they're the biggest mountains I've ever seen. They're the most beautiful, rugged, gorgeous mountains, and then these random waterfalls, and then you just happen upon a castle. It's so I'd say Islands of Scotland are probably the most beautiful. What about you guys? What is the most beautiful place you've ever seen? I'd probably have to say Italy. Uh, I, I got to go. It was a pretty long trip. Uh, Right when I started college, I think we started. We started in London and then Paris, and then uh, we kind of went uh, started in Rome and worked our way up. It exactly where we were. I think we, it was in the countryside. It may have been around Assisi. We got to stay in like a village. It was really cool, and it was in the summer, so everything was really. Uh, all the trees and hills were very green, but yeah, I, I have a lot of good memories. I'd like to go back. It has not been, there. but uh, I haven't seen the Highlands either. I mean, but I've seen. Uh, Scotland is one of the most beautiful countries in the world when it's sunny. How many days of the year is that? Also. Oh. Also, shout out to Monster Munch. I'm eating the last bag. Oh. I, I like the little, I like the little character on the front. It's, a, it's one of those things when I see it's like I, it's like I, I can tell it's from the UK. It looks yeah. like a Danger Mouse drawing or something. You have to get the beef kind because everybody said we got the wrong flavor. We have to get beef. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the pickled onion, but I definitely want the beef next go around. So we also have a special guest here with us that would like to say hello to the chat. Now we are on the travel channel. Would you like to honk at everyone on the travel channel? <laughs> Whoa, that is some serious honking. All right. Question for you. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you like to go? Scotland. Oh, she picked Scotland. Why Scotland? I've never been there and it's home. You think you could do a Scottish accent? Hello. <laughs> that is a great Scottish. Scot that's okay. That's a great Scottish accent. I hope there are Scottish geese in the chat. Thank you for that. That is too funny. Uh, everybody saying honk honk gosling. Little G. I like that. Little G. Yes. She wants to go to Scotland very much. And then what was your first answer you were going to? Disney. You want to go? She loves Disney, so she wants to go back to Disney. We're about two hours away from Disney, so anytime we can go to Disney, she likes to go there. So, but yes, Scotland would be great. It's beautiful there, and I'd love to take the Gosling and the Gander because Jay hasn't been either. I'll take them both. That is very high on my list of places to see for sure. All right. Um, let's see here. Hong Kong, we won. Um, and then let's see, me too, Gosling. I love it. I want to meet the cast of Outlander. Heck yeah. She just went upstairs. Let's talk Outlander. Hello. I heard that they're putting out the last season of Outlander, speaking of. I'm excited. I kind of dropped out of it because so violent and brutal, but um I did enjoy the not violent parts of the show. So I might watch the last season. We'll see. Uh the Gosling would be we is it Fine in my part of Scotland. Oh, I love it. I forgot you're in Scotland, Jill. Hi. Quine, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I like that she, I said, can you say hi with a Scottish accent? She said, what'd you say? Like, hi. <laughs> so cute. She thinks everybody says mate everywhere. So she says, like when she's doing English, Australian. So I'm surprised she didn't say hi, mate. <laughs> So cute. All right. Sam. Yes. Nicola speaking my language. All right. Auntie says, Jen, did you see Greg Davies Davis? I was going on tour. <gasps> no, I did not. I live in Houston. But I'll be catching one of the shows. Two great things. England and Greg Davis. Yes. No, I did not know that, but I will try my best and see if he's coming anywhere near me. Hey, thank you, whoever just did the coffee. Let me give you a shout out for that because that means so much to me. And, uh, oh, it's Natalie. Thank you so much for a Swedish holiday. Thank you. Message for chat. Okay. 
For weird food, I think, ooh, I don't know how to say surstroming can be said. Oh, surstroming. If you can't do the O, oh, um, will be off Jay's list, but I challenge him to try it whenever you all have a visit. Natalie, I need more details. What is that? I'm here for it. You know, I love it. Um, and then let's see, I think. Thank you for that, Natalie. I really appreciate that. Where was I? Boys are loose. Um, I like it. Kathy says, when I was young and growing up, I was wanted to go to Italy to find my family. I grew up an Italian grandmother, but thanks to DNA tests, I found I'm not Italian. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Very funny. I love Outlander. That's cool. Have you stuck with it? Um, how do you get through the brutal stuff? Maybe if I just fast forward, I sound like I'm a thousand, you know what I mean? Speed past the brutal stuff. I can stick with it. Uh, was just in San Antonio. Um, let's see here. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Not quite royal. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it so much. I do. Was just in San Antonio in January. That's cool. I haven't been there. I dropped out for some reason. JM, I just got a weird message saying that this stream is being wonky. So if you drop out, it's not you. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, God. It, it does this a lot when I stream. Um, sometimes it's our internet. It's not, it looks alarming on our end, but it, it doesn't really. Matter. If, 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 the, if the audio gets bad, uh, definitely tell us in the chat. It may change setting, but uh, it should, should stay up. Oh, Gail, I'm so excited. I saw that too. So if you're new here, one of my, probably my all-time favorite show is called Taskmaster. It's free on YouTube. Check it out. It's so much fun. Uh, and there's a new season of it starting up. I saw that. I think it's, um, is it next week? The end of this week, maybe. Is it this Friday? I can't remember. It's one of these weeks. Can't wait. I'm so excited. I love Taskmaster. That is my dream is to be on Taskmaster. How cool would that be? Did you see, if you follow Greg Davis on uh, Twitter, he just posted pictures today that were making me laugh. Apparently they're in New York. And so he said, he wrote something. I read it, TJ, and I can't remember what he said. It was like trying to enjoy New York or something. Yeah, or like New York ruined or oh, something. that's what it was. Yeah, and it's like him looking all serious and Alex Horn smiling like a goofball behind yes. him. <laughs> yes, and they kept sharing pictures of... Greg looking serious and then Alex being like, you know, 10 feet behind him, like making goofy faces. It's very cute. Right. Um, being, oh, somebody asked me Disneyland or Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland. We live in Florida, so we're only a couple hours away from Disney World. So we do go, we do go there quite, uh, quite a bit. Natalie is explaining it's extremely smelly fermented fish that comes in a can. Oh, Natalie. Do you enjoy that stuff? Jay, would you eat that? What, what, what was it? And, um, she was explaining that it's extremely smelly fermented fish in a can that she was talking about. I'd try it. Uh, it sounds like that could be a challenge. <laughs> no. no, Natalie, thank you for that super. That is too funny. I hadn't heard of that. Oh, I'm not a fish person. Jay would probably do it. He's a human garbage disposal. I call him that. But Natalie, is it something you enjoy? Let me know. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. AB London says, I live one mile from Buckingham Palace, three streets from where Catherine and Pippa lived before the wedding. No way. Can I just tell you? I know I, I should probably play it a little more cool than this, but, um, that is one of my favorite places. We, we actually stayed near Buckingham Palace and I really like the area. I like being able to walk over to Buckingham Palace and uh love I keep, what is it, st james's park i think it's called right there by buckingham and that whole area i love it um so yeah i can answer that kpwhu thank you for your super by the way it says j audio cuts out occasionally but not jen's for some reason the mic does much much better with female voices than deep male voices so his you'd think his would pick up better but it doesn't it does better with higher pitches i noticed yeah, when we do, when we're on Jen's stream, we're sharing one microphone. It's pretty much tuned to her, not me, and vice versa. Like, I mean, she's never really shown up on my stream other than her hand, but like my microphone is on a separate computer and is tuned to me. But 
We've tried doing it in the same room and it just it will not cooperate. Right? Let me scroll down and catch up to some. Um, let's see. Philippa says, I've been to Disneyland, but not Disney World. Not, that sounds like fun. Um, I live in, Cynthia says, I live in Southern Calif California. Disneyland is great. The original. I would like to go. Natalie says, no, I don't eat it. LOL. <laughs> I don't blame you. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. No, you guys have um, lingonberries, right? Do I have that right? Right, Natalie? If so, I love lingonberry. It's so good. I love that flavor. Uh, I think it gives you guys a happy. All right, Gail, yes, St. James Park. I love that place. That was beautiful. I loved it there, St. James Park. Um, let's see here. Uh, hurricanes. Oh, okay, you're talking to Cynthia. Jackie says, we have friends in Sweden. I have tried that fish, and it's effing disgusting. I couldn't get the smell out of the house for days. <laughs> Ew, that is so great. What a Uh, but I'll put this to you guys. What is there a place? I'm trying to think how is there a place you'd like to that would be more interesting for you to watch as far as travel channel? I know right now we're limited because we're not monetized and I can't go sinking a bunch of money into it. But, um, you know, where we live in Florida, I can show maybe at some point I can show like beaches is kind of yeah, it's not quite warm enough yet, but I can show beaches and, um, uh, I don't know, different spots. Uh, I'm, I still go to where we take the Gosling to Disney. It's easy for me to film there. So for now, I'll probably stick with that. We are, again, Jay's work is hopefully taking us to the Dollywood area soon. So I might be able to film some Dollywood. And I'm saving up for a trip to the UK again. Not sure where. So hopefully that'll be the case. Yeah, we've got a thing with theme parks with two yeah. two round objects. Uh, 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 yeah. The theming, we're trading those mouse ears for some <laughs> dolly stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, neither one of us have been to Disneyland. Um, I have a, an old roommate, a friend that he still lives in L.A. He's in the Disney, not Disney. Kind of compared notes, similar but different. Okay, I'm here. Oh, St. Augustine. I do love St. Augustine. That's pretty close to us. Yeah, I love St. Augustine. So pretty there. I could do that sometime. Sure. Uh, Snark Bark Hark says, pick some local things around you and tell us the history. I can do that. I don't find Jacksonville particularly pretty. No offense to anybody that lives around here. So I, that's why I don't tend to film it. Like even our beaches are not pretty. We do like to go over on the other side of the state where the beaches are really blue. So next time we do that, I will, I will film over there for sure. Um, yeah, the beach here in Jacksonville, Glenn, oh, thanks for being here, Glenn, is um pretty. <laughs> so our beaches are more, this is so, it's so weird. The water is more brown. I know that's weird, but it's just how, I don't know. It just, uh, it's Atlantic. I don't know. <laughs> And so it's just kind of dark water. You can't see through it. And the it doesn't really have waves that big. So usually unless there's a storm. So that's why it's not great. It's not the most beautiful in the whole world. But again, uh, when we go, we like to go over to like um, Destin area, which is the other side of the state. Yes. Could you go to Destin? Yes, we do go to Destin. They have the blue, blue water is so pretty. And the Keys are another place I love. We Jay hasn't actually been and uh i haven't been in a very long time so sometime we will go to the keys it's just expensive down there but it's really pretty you should bring the the gosling to wisconsin dells tell me what that is i don't even know what that is hi miss rocker red oh jay help me with this okay miss rocker red is one of the ones who is mysteriously blocked on my other channel can you see if there's any way to get her, I didn't do it. It's just like threw her in time out on a chat one time. And ever since then, she can't comment on my channel. Is there a way to un unblock it? Rocker Red, he is working on that. We are trying. We just found, we just went through this with somebody else and he kind of found a workaround. So let me see if I can get 
Yeah, you're not banned from comments. It's just for some reason the chat threw you in jail and won't let you out. I don't know why that is, but thank you for, I'm glad you're here. I've, Jay says he likes your profile picture. What? Oh, that's frightening. <laughs> yes, he's trying to, to see if he can get you out of jail, Miss Rocker Red. Oh, he says he thinks he fixed it. Let's do this. Go on, Miss Rock. Are you still on as me, Jay? Okay, um, Miss Rocker Red. If you feel like it, when you have a second, go on that channel, uh, Real Housewives Recaps. I guess go what to the latest video. On yeah, go on my latest video and just put any comment. And Jay is logged in as me right now. He'll see if it shows up because I'm very curious if he got you if he got you unblocked. Because that is crazy pants. You didn't do anything wrong. I think she said, she's like, do you not like cussing? All I said was like, it was something so mundane, like son of a bitch or something like that. And I was like, no, I love cussing. I never mind it. But the, the chat blocked her. And ever since then, she's been blocked. It's so stupid. But she's so lovely. I follow her on Twitter. There's no reason she should be blocked. But um, anyway, Jay just did something. See if that works. Let me know. Uh, let me know where you comment. And I'll get Jay to look for it. How about that? All right. Back to other people's comments. Uh, Kitty Mendoza says, been to Disneyland and Disney World. Would love to go to Disney Paris. Me too, Kenny. Me too. We looked into it briefly, but it is expensive. But I would like to go. Yes. Where are the manatees? We get them here in Jacksonville, actually. They're more um, a little bit further south. But we do get them here in Jacksonville. Funny story. We, growing up, I I've always lived in Jacksonville. So we had... My parents had this house where we had, it's going to sound fancy, it's not. We had a creek behind our house and we just got so much rain during the summer, it would flood. And I just remember, no, it was a hurricane one of the times, a hurricane. It didn't, it never directly hits here, but they sideswipe us. So it had rained so much and stormed from the hurricane. And I just remember our backyard was completely flooded. And all of a sudden these manatees come up. It sounds so weird, but it comes up in our backyard. And I was just like, oh my God, those are manatees. The weird things you see living in Florida. We've had first alligators and snakes. And then at one point we got to see manatees in our backyard. It was so weird. Then it was, while it was still flooded, they swam back out and that was it. Uh, Diane, you lived in Jack's. Oh my gosh, in the late seventies and had your third child. Oh, at University Hospital. That's funny. Regis Paper Mill. Yes. It makes Jax stink. You're right. Jax is Southern Georgia. Oh my God. You're so speaking my language. Yes to all of those things. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've been to University Hospital. I was, um, yeah, I was, what is it? A memorial is where I was born. That's funny. Oh, all right. Um, small world. Tegan says, Jen, did you visit Clarence House and St. James Palace? No, I didn't. Are they right there? Am I that dumb? I didn't realize they were right there. I didn't know where they were. No, I didn't. I just went to the park and just kind of walked around right there and just saw the, I don't know, the swans and the ducks and stuff. Oh, Maggie, <laughs> it never bothers us. You can say anything you want. There's an auto mod on the chat that's not a person. I don't know what, it's just a YouTube thing. So I always say, listen, you say anything you want, just misspell it. So, oh, that's what it was. Miss Rocker Red wrote, thank you for watching that horse shit so I don't have to. And for some reason, the chat just took it upon itself to block her. I'm like, that's ridiculous. I love that. I think that she's paying me a compliment. So uh, it blocked her from that. So yeah, just if you have anything even kind of controversial, just misspell it on purpose and it'll pass the auto mod thing. And then, yeah, you won't be in jail. It's so stupid. I think it's so ridiculous and I wish I could turn it off, but I can't just an auto YouTube thing. So like, even if you say sometimes like, well, that sucks. I think you can say sucks, but the, sometimes the auto bot thing just goes nuts. It's like, no, you can't say that. And I'm like, no, I want to hear it. <laughs> it's fine. I can handle some curse words. I love curse words. I say them all the time. I try to, I got so many comments saying you curse too much. So I tried to curb it a little bit on the main channel, but no, I love curse words. Let's see. Word, yeah. <laughs> All right. Even using, yeah, the a money sign for the S, really? And it still got you blocked. That's stupid. Or use the poop emoji. That works, too. That is funny. That works, too. Yeah, I love curse words. There's nothing that offends me. The only thing that I really get pissy about is, like, if you come for Catherine or something. But other than that, I don't care. 
who's got that much time on their hands? I don't care. Say whatever. Um, Glennis says it's that word that starts with, oh yeah, B that they don't seem to like. Jen sounds like a witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a B in front of it. They stopped me leaving comments. And see, that word perfectly describes you know who in California. So why not use that word? If I don't mind it, why does YouTube care? I think it's silly. Honestly, here's my, here's what I really think it is. YouTube does this on purpose because it wants to make it look like it's a nicer place, even though YouTube can be a cesspool. So that way, when it sells ads to the advertisers, the place looks better. That's just my hunch, just my opinion. I think that's why it does that. Um, yes, Liz E, I love it. Says just use British terms, more fun. Uh, wanker, what other British terms do we got? <laughs> Knob, oh, uh, what's the other, plonker. I learned plonker and I like that very much. Biatch, that's good too. Uh, yes, Glennis, I see it. That's funny. Diane says, my favorite Florida town, Tampa. Yes, I used to work at Tampa General Hospital. Oh, that's so cool. Ebor City, yes, is all cleaned up. Yes. Uh, went 18 miles out in the Gulf Deep. Oh, that's so cool. Fish for huge barracuda. That sounds like fun. We have to get creative. Oh, yeah, try winch. That's good, too. Winch is good. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Miss Rocker read uh, that comment did show up, so you're Yay. you're fixed. I had to learn how to do this last night because of uh, <laughs> a, a misclick, yeah. but we, we fixed that one as well. So, yeah, sometimes... It happens on mine too. Like sometimes it's the live, it's real sensitive to the live chat for some reason. So if that ever happens to anybody, please reach out and let me know. Rocker Red got in touch with me on Twitter and let me know. And we've been working on it ever since. And Jay, I mean, it's not that he finally, it's just, we finally figured it out. And Jay's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's definitely not intuitive no. because unfortunately I, I won't go into it, but like she legitimately does have to block a lot of sugars. So that makes that, that uh, YouTube, yeah, so sometimes like a chat, or I mean a comment or even a chat could get deleted and it makes the dots shift. I believe that's what, maybe yeah. what happened last night and yeah. so the wrong person got clicked. And uh, there's so many sugars in timeout or blocks that mm -hmm. you can't see all the names, but we found a workaround. So yeah. hopefully that, that won't happen again, <laughs> but very counterintuitive. I, I can't believe that it's so like jumbled on you. I truly hate the comment stuff. I do. I love reading y'all's comments and the good stuff, but yeah, going through when I see that sugar shit, I don't want to talk too much negativity, but I can tell you it's been rough. It has. They are out in full force, which tells me they're coming to an end. Because why would they be scrambling like this? I think their leader, you know, who is scrambling. So I think they're scrambling too. I hunch. Right. Hurricane says I was born in Orange County, California. I live in Fullerton and is it Yorba Linda before moving to Knoxville in 2015. I miss California a lot. So Jay spent, you got to go to California to visit some family. Uh, do you recognize any of those places? Here. Uh, I have a, one of my roommates, a lot of my class was from California. No, that was in Virginia, but, uh, uh, one of my roommates, uh, good friends, he, when it was, you know, when school was done, it was time to move back. I drove cross country with him, stayed there for a bit. Uh, he, just outside LA, F uh, Fountain City, I believe, if I'm correct, uh, hung out there a little bit, uh, Korea, Korea town, basically. And uh, it, it was fun. Uh, he drove everywhere, thank God. Uh, my head, my head would have exploded. Exploded. And uh, he had a brother in Vegas as well, so we spent a little few days in Vegas. So that was fun. It was my first trip there. Ooh, I like B itch. That's good too. Do you see that Gina posted B itch? See, and then that's a way to get around the. Yeah, that's good. We can find ways to circumvent this stuff. Mysterious asks, Jen, have you been to Utah? It has desert and mountains. I would love to go to Utah. I have not been. I would love to go, though. Um, try and think. I had to fly through one time. I flew through Salt Lake. Um, and I got to see the mountains from a plane, if that means anything. But no, I haven't actually really been to Utah. I'd love to go. 
love mountains. It's that thing where I grew up in Florida, so I love the idea of mountains and snow and all that because I really haven't had much of that. So <laughs> love to. Be here. Gail. Yeah, Vegas was very eye opening. It absolutely is. So that is something I could talk about. I've been to Vegas an inordinate amount of time. I do not have a gambling problem, but <laughs> for some reason, that was the place. We would go sometimes growing up because you can get very cheap flights to Las Vegas. They do that on purpose to get you out there. So they, you can get in, like less than $100 sometimes to fly. I don't know if it's still the case, but when we were growing up to go to Vegas. So sometimes we would just go there, but been there a bunch. I, I do enjoy it. I don't know that I can say I love Vegas, but I love the people watching and the sightseeing. And, and I do, I mean, I enjoy it like, a little gambling like I'll, you know i'll play a couple table games and then that's it but um it's just fun yeah it is it's good people watching out there it's it is eye-opening you're right it's not like any place you've ever been <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it's like if caffeine was a city i'd say that's las vegas i don't know if caffeine and coke like <laughs> coke and hookers was a city it'd be las vegas <laughs> All right. Uh, Jill says, I was born in Zimbabwe. Oh, how cool is that? Lived in UK for six, um, from six months old. Live in Lynx, Salisbury, Yorkshire, Ireland, and Scotland. You are living my dream, Jill. You really are. I want to go to all those places. That's amazing. Zimbabwe. I had no idea. How cool. What brought you from Zimbabwe to the UK? All right. Mary says, Vegas buffets. Yes. It does have good food out there. Um, yeah, Trace Lynn, you're so right. There's so much more to do than gambling. Yes, just walking the strip is interesting. Very busy, yes. Um, Venus says, my cousin and I went to Vegas, conned our way to the lounge at the Stratosphere. Oh, how cool is that? That sounds like fun. I did that crazy ride on top of the Stratosphere. I did the roller coaster thing, and I did the slingshot on top of it. Ooh. I still get nervous even talking. My palms sweat when I talk about it. Yes, Gretchen, same. Vegas is good for a few days. Then I feel like I need to get out of there. Same. I feel the same way. It is fun. It's fun in my 20s and 30s. I think now I'm ready to go other places, you know. But we've, Jay, we've been, what, twice or one? Once, yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be oh, twice, right. but uh, something happened that people... Something happened in 2020 that people may remember. Yes. <laughs> the Backstreet Boys tour. Yeah. Uh, no, we, we all got, all the travel got shut down. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought about going back at some point, not even for the gambling, but, uh, what, yeah, the hookers. No, uh, we're, we're have the video game channel. I mainly lean into fighting games like Street Fighter. So the, if you're not aware, and most, Normal people probably aren't, but the the big fighting the big annual fighting game tournament happens in Vegas, uh, like July or August every year. It kind of varies, but it's July this year. I'd like to go and film it, maybe enter the tournament. I'm not good at any of the current games, so I wouldn't go very far, but I think I'd be fun. Freaking nerd convention. I don't know why they do it in Vegas. I guess it's most of the players are from California, so I guess place to meet. Hi, Rebecca. It says, I didn't know you live in Florida, but I will never visit there. I've lived in Montana my whole life. So Montana is somewhere I have never visited, but I've talked to Jay about it. I would love to go there. I hear it's gorgeous. I would love for you to do a video anywhere in Florida, but especially Key West. I love Key West. Key West is very expensive and very hot, but it's beautiful. Jay hasn't actually been down there. Jay is from Virginia, so he he doesn't he hasn't been all the places in Florida yet. So um we'll have to go down there sometime. I'd like to take the gosling maybe when she's a little older. Key West is a lot of fun. It is a party city, <laughs> but it's also like it's just it's beautiful and really tropical and, and cool place to be. Uh, Ian says Austria is beautiful. Austria is so high on my list to play. I always say that of my places because they have, um, they just, it's so beautiful and they do a big Christmas market as well. I'd love to see. I hear it's beautiful. Uh, Diane says after 2020 Vegas casinos have tightened in slots and video poker, 
and burn five cards in blackjack. They're trying to gain back revenue. Ah, no fun. Yeah, that's even more reason I don't need to go back anytime soon, but that's cool. Does this comment show? Yes, Miss Rocker Red, I see your comment. And did you hear Jay say that your comment showed over on the main channel? I think he fixed it. Thank you, Jay, for that. Yeah, you did. Your comment shows. Yay. Now stop saying bad work. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> That's funny. Saying bad words. I'm totally kidding. That's ridiculous that you got blocked. I don't care what word you say. I mean, you know what I mean? As long as it's not some hate word, I don't care. <laughs> say whatever. Great. Uh, the tiny deer are there in Key West. I don't know about the tiny deer. I've only been to Key West a little bit. I went on a cruise once and stopped there. And then when I was in college, I went down for reasons wink wink nudge nudge that was before i knew jay <laughs> key west loads of chickens and cats yeah i just remember i'm not a big drinker but i decided to partake when i was in key west and got on a bicycle like an idiot <laughs> it didn't go well anyway it was fun though <laughs> what i remember of it was really fun uh peanut astronaut my only overseas trip was to salzburg at christmas the markets are amazing oh my gosh also on my list of places to go salzburg uh yay i'm gonna stop cussing oh don't worry about it it doesn't bother me i just don't want them to throw you in jail again that's ridiculous rebecca j says western montana is too touristy and the people aren't friendly as Eastern Montana. Good to know. All right. Well, if I ever am able to make it out to Montana, I'll pick your brain before I go on the places I need to go. I really don't know much about Montana. Um, we had like a family friend when I was growing up. I, I mean, it's like one of those things where it's your parents' friend. I didn't really know the guy very well, but I think he was very wealthy. And had like some sprawling place in Montana. So I think from that being a kid and hearing my parents like, whoa, you know, I think I had it in my head of, oh, I want to go to Montana and check it out. You know? So that's cool though. Do you ever see bear? I know that might be a silly question. I just wonder, like I've been in North Carolina and seen bear and like Tennessee and stuff around Gatlin, um, yeah, Gatlinburg and stuff and seen bear. But I just wonder, do you ever see bears out in Montana? Is that a regular sighting? Is it like a rarity? See them? Uh, Cynthia says mystery spot, Santa Cruz, California. Jay, have you been to Santa Cruz that you're aware of? I have not. Uh, I did have family in California at one point that, that was in Northern California ish. Uh, but usually when we visited them, it was like a Tascadero, San Luis. Went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium and around that area. That was, that was really cool. Mad bird, I agree with you. Cussing is fun. You're right. <laughs> um, let's see. P Pacific said beautiful Canada. Visit. Remember that King Charles is king there. Yes. So when I was earlier in my reporting, I foolishly said something like, and I sometimes slip and say, even though I know about Commonwealth and different countries, I think I called. Queen Elizabeth, Queen of England. And people are like, no, you idiot. <laughs> it's mo so much more. And I understand that. I think I've said the same about King Charles, King of England. It's like, no, it's so much more. I'm like, oh yeah, I know that too. It's just, I don't know why it just rolls off the tongue like that. But yes, I do remember that he is king. And I remember that, um, yeah, that beautiful Queen Elizabeth is on your currency and stuff. And, and yeah, I, I've been to Canada once. We, I, actually spent some time in Michigan and I was about, I don't know, 20 something minutes away from the border. So I crossed into like Windsor and went to Ontario and stuff. That's about my extent of it. I'd love to see Whistler and I'd love to see, uh, yeah, I know it pissed me off that those two went to Whistler, but I'd love to see Whistler and I'd love to see um, Toronto as well. All right. Doreen, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it so much. Thank you. And thank you, Mert Marie, for being here. Cussing is life. It really is. It's so much more fun. We had a bear trollop. What? <laughs> Sounds like a hookery bear. <laughs> I don't know what that means. KPWHU says Slovenia is well worth a visit. Lake Lead. Oh, are lovely and cheap. I love it. Sounds good. Bears here in eastern Montana are more wild and not seen as easily. Okay, cool. It's good to know. I just wondered about that. There's a Christmas place store in Pigeon Forge. Yes, we know that store. Yeah, I'm very aware of that store. Yes. Whenever 
we went we'd go there as kids uh i mean my family and my mom loved that christmas store i've been in it way too many times probably still stuff from that store their house oh that's so cool so um I love that. Doreen says, travel anywhere, but travel light. Meet new people, learn the culture, food, traditions. Exactly. That's that whole with age comes wisdom. I definitely, that's more of something I've adopted, you know, in my 30s and 40s. Earlier, I, was just, I, did, I didn't want to eat weird food, not weird, but different foods and stuff and stray out of my norms. But now you're absolutely right. That's the way to travel. Uh, Tegan says, I hate snow. So that's a huge no from me. Give me sun and heat. Fair enough. I think it's that thing with the grass is always greener where I've grown up with so much heat and very much no snow that I kind of gravitate toward. I think that's why I love England too. I love cold, rainy weather. I know that's weird and I'm a weirdo, but I do. So yeah. Love to live, I'd love to live in England for a few years. That is a dream of mine with Jay. And they go with me. We're a package deal. So much wisdom. You're right. Nicola says, yes, the Northern Lights would be amazing to see and come to New Zealand. You are speaking my language. New Zealand is also very high on my list. I just think it looks so rugged and beautiful in New Zealand. Jay is dying to go to Australia, as am I, but... um. No offense to my Australian geese, uh, New Zealand is probably higher on my list. It just is for some reason. And so we've we've made a deal. We're going to do both. But we think we're going to wait till the gosling's bigger and she can handle that flight because that would be rough to try to, fly, <laughs> try to fly all that way. That's like 24 hours for us. So, yeah, yeah go ahead. A crazy thing I kind of learned inadvertently. I had a coworker that kept, she's like, my, mo my mother-in-law keeps wanting to go take a cruise to Australia and you know, this is Florida. And I was like, I don't think that exists. And then I was like, I want to Google that because that sounds too nuts to exist. Turns out uh, it does exist. Oh I can't remember if it leaves from Florida. There's definitely a California to Australia cruise, which makes more sense. But I think there may have been a Florida one and it, it goes through the, uh, uh, Oh God. In uh, Central America, the channel. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I, I, I went dumb, you know, the, the shortcut uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, I, yeah, yeah, the canal there. Uh, but yeah, I think it may do that. I can't remember, but it's like a 30 day cruise, which is nuts yeah. just to get to Australia. I, I, I'll, I'll fly. I think. All right. My brother had bear in his backyard, North Carolina. Holy cow. So I don't, I, I really haven't spent time in North Carolina. I've, I have spent a little time in Tennessee. I'm, I mean, uh, you know, at the border right there. So I guess it's black bear. I think that they have up there and, uh, I know no bear is great, but I think they're the, the nicer ones. You can scare those away. You can't scare away a grizzly, right? From what I understand. I don't know. I'm not a bear expert. We, we have them here in Florida, but they're more just like rare and maybe I don't know in the Everglades or something. Rare bear, yeah. We have alligators. That's the thing that we have fun, right? They're scary. Shit. We've had those in our backyard. I would see them rarely in Virginia. The only time I remember, like as a little kid, and, and I, they didn't like coming down into the city. I guess. As far as honk, <laughs> bears don't like. But I remember one came into our neighborhood young, and I, one of the neighbors had a pool, and they found the bear in the pool splashing around. And they, they had to call animal control to <gasps> take it back to the wherever, wherever in the mountains it came from, I guess. I just said, I mean, I just saw two people hop on and say, hi, hi, Ritz, how are you? And then somebody else just hopped on and said, oh, my gosh. Now I'm trying to find where you are who said hi. Um. Mails just said, jumped on. I'm sorry, I can't find you now, but hi, thank you for, for jumping on and following us over. We're just having a travel chat. We'll probably wrap up here soon. I just wanted to get some watch time over on this channel. It, I just can't even tell you how much it helps. The watch time is the hardest part on getting monetized. Here's a little inside baseball. They want you to have 4,000 hours of watch time 
And think about that because we put up like, I don't know, six minute videos. That's why I've been trying to post longer videos, but people still only watch a few minutes of them and that's fine. But think about reaching 4,000 hours. It takes forever. So I'm just trying anything I can. And plus it's fun to chat about this stuff. So, so I have 174 viewers on right now. I've been going for like 50 minutes. So if you multiply 174 by 50, see, you're getting the watch time idea and, and it all goes to add to monetizing the channel. Once the channel is monetized, then I can hopefully do more traveling. That is my dream is to support our travel. Um, that, that is my plan for us. So if I can get this channel up and running, that's what I would like to do. And if I could travel and take you guys along with me, well, then that's a big fat bonus. Hunter says, my family and I recently came back from a trip to Antarctica. No way. That's so cool. Also on my list. Uh, there's nowhere you guys can't name that I won't say. It's on my list, but it really is. That's so cool. Um, 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 what's his name? So when we got married, we got married to Ed Sheeran's song. And I know he named his daughter. I not remember her first name, but I know Antarctica is in the name because I think he said they conceived her in Antarctica. I was like, oh, that's really funny. <laughs> that's really funny. All right. Uh, 4,000 hours. Yes. Yeah. It's quite a daunting journey. So listen, I will always support anybody who wants to, because I get messages a lot saying, Hey, I really want to start a YouTube. What's your, what's your tip? And I tell them, I'm like, guys, I want you to do it. There will be people out there that will want to watch your content. I encourage anybody to start one that wants to, but just know you talk to yourself for like a year. It takes, it took me about a year on the other channel to get monetized. Luckily, this one's going a little faster because I do have the following. Thank you guys. It's because of you guys. But it takes a long time of talking to yourself and all that. It's so hard to get started. So I'm really trying hard. And, and you guys are helping me along with that. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. But... Um, and it, right yeah, when you hear 4,000 hours, I mean, it is a lot. It sounds daunting, but honestly, in most cases, the subscribers is harder. I mean, it depends. It, yeah. it really depends on your audience and your content. Like, uh, I was just saying in the chat, I started uploading to YouTube in 2013 just for fun. It wasn't even video games. I found a bunch of old VHS tapes with silly 80s commercials on them, and I ripped those uh, to my computer and uploaded them. And, um, at the time, like there were no requirements. I, I can't remember when that kicked in. It may have been like 2017, 18, something like that. And so I had a Fruity Pebbles commercial that, <laughs> that, that kind of took off. And, uh, right when it was about to get to the point where I would get paid, YouTube's like, oh, uh, now you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So the little money that that video uh, had built up, uh, just disappeared. And I was like, oh, cool. Thanks. And uh, by that point, I'd switched the video games anyway. Uh, luckily, I had something hit big. So if you, I mean, if you put up a video and you have thousands of views, and it's you know at least a decent length, that that really does make a difference. But that's kind of what I'm going through on my new channel. Like most of my videos are short. So hey, if you want to check out my other channel, check out Doctor Bad Vibe Speaks. Hit play all if you don't want to. If you don't care, just hit play all. Mute your phone or your computer and let it run. But that's, yeah, it, it's, if you just keep at it, 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 you know, it happens. I don't want to dissuade anybody from trying no. YouTube. Nope. Nope. And, and I feel bad. Tegan, I just read your comment. I, if you're trying for it, go for it. I, I'm telling you, just tell yourself, you know, you'll be talking to yourself for a while. And then all of a sudden people start to find you. That's what happened with me. Uh, people find you and then you kind of go from there. It'll, it'll all work out. If it's something you want to do, make it happen. And you never know what's going to stick. Like on my game channel, I put up a video that was like, I was like, that's probably all right. It got 3 million views. <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, okay. And it's still like, it's still always in my top like five videos, even though I've made a better one. Nobody wanted to watch the new one. It's still the old one that you recommend. There's that, but you never know when something may blow up and then, you know, pull in a lot of people. Um, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Diane. Um, yeah, so the ads that are run on this channel are not mine. They're the, they're by YouTube because I'm not monetized yet, but on the other channel, oh my gosh, that helps so much letting their ads run. 
Uh, I don't fully understand how that works, but I think make a little more something. Is that what it is? Like if it runs, I, I don't, I don't know, but yes. thank you. I know you're helping. I know it helps. Thank you. Yeah. The way their ads work, it's very convoluted. I think the payout depends on whether you skipped it or not, how much was, whether it was a free or after roll. Yeah, Jay, if you go to Lulu's mom, the video of my husband and his brothers pulled 4K, I was like, what the hell? Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's like that Fruity Pebbles commercial. I didn't, I put those up just because I thought they were funny, and it's like, uh -huh. I have to look and see how many views that has. I'm going to click Lulu's mom. Wait, while he pulls that up, I'll answer Mary. So thank you so much. It feels like it was fast. It actually wasn't. So I started the channel in 2020. Uh, and, uh, I talked to myself for a long time. I, to relate it back to Catherine, I actually went out for surgery on my abdominal area and was out for a while. I ended up having to have two different procedures. I'm fine. But, um, I went into it more on Patreon, but, um, and that was all during the time of this channel. So I took time off and things have gone very slowly. It was, uh, it, it took a couple of years for it to take off. I took off in 2023, I think, uh, I guess into 2022 I was doing, and I did the Johnny Depp stuff and then, uh, and just like that. And that's when it kind of took off from there. And then of course the, the, now this stuff. So, yeah. So it feels fast except for it hasn't been, it's been a slow process, but thank you, Mary. I appreciate that very much. Hopefully this one, God, that is my dream. If this one could blow up, I would feel. I know, I know I sound so ungrateful. I'm so grateful for the other channel. I'm just saying like where traveling is my passion. It'd be incredible. I had to pull it up and see because people still look at that Fruity Pebbles video on my, on my uh, gaming channel. Some song sampled a clip from that. So I keep getting these comments and they kept saying up. And I'm like, well, what? I, I, and it was only on that video, just random people. And then I realized they're referencing whatever that song is. The song's called Up. I don't remember who the artist is. I think it's like some techno band or something. But yeah, it's literally a commercial from my Saturday morning cartoons that was on VHS and got 31,000 views. Um, that, thank you, Michelle, for asking. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. That I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think if you keep watching them over and over, it catches on to that. But uh, watching them once definitely helps. Yeah. And uh, sorry, the shorts. I think it does help to watch them more than once because they show you percentage, and if it's over a hundred percent, that's really good. Meaning they've went back and watched it again. But the main videos, I think it only counts once. But thank you for asking that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, the shorts definitely help the loop over and over. I mean. Um, just watching the video all the way through at least, at least once. I know that helps. Uh, I don't know if it helps going beyond that. So, um, you know, just going to the channel, go into the videos and hit play all <laughs> that definitely adds up, which, uh, if anybody wants to do that on Jen's travel channel or Dr. Bad by speaks, uh, I have some live streams that are like three hours long. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, set it and forget it. <laughs> So funny story. Um, well, first of all, Mary, you're so sweet. Thank you. Yes. You've been with me a very long time. I appreciate that. You're always so kind, but funny story about, let's see, Shell asking, did they ever finish that series? I don't know. I dropped out last season. I couldn't handle it anymore. I do hear it's coming back and I heard it's coming back without Che. Sorry. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's a stupid series. It's horrible. What happened to blow up my channel is I've always been a huge fan of the original sex and C city series. Then when they came out with it just like that, I was like, oh, I'll cover that. I watched the first episode and I was like, I don't know. Maybe they'll make it better. I didn't want to be negative right off the bat. I thought, well, maybe it'll get better. That first episode was weird, but we'll see. You guys, the second episode of the first series, I just, I told Jay, I was like, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my channel for this, but I've got to tell the truth. So <laughs> I said, you guys, this is awful. And I went into all the reasons it sucked. And people found it really funny and refreshing and it took off. And, and that's honestly, I think what started blowing up my numbers. I was just, I wasn't doing it for click. And I think a lot of people were pandering because they wanted to like the series, but then 
were afraid to say how bad it sucked. And I was like, no, I got to talk about how bad this sucks. If you really like the original series, this, this remake is a train wreck. Michael Patrick King ruined it. So anyway, I won't keep going on and on, but that's what blew up the channel. And thank goodness, because it's been going crazy kind of ever since. There's ebbs and flows. Like I get so hung up on the number sometimes and I get really down, like I'm not doing a good job. But then if I take a breath and pull back and really look at it. I'm like, no, I'm still on an upward trajectory trajectory, but I can't tell you, I put so much work into some videos, like, like days worth of work and then they get no views. And then some videos I just kind of toss up in 20 minutes and then they blow up big. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> no rhyme or reason. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, being a champ, my son was the stage hand. He built Carrie's apartment for him just like oh, that. No way. <laughs> Oh my god which one the the crazy one with the <laughs> the um the big views and stuff for the one she ends up in but that's so cool no way oh my gosh i would like to get all the inside gossip <laughs> that's so cool though Small world. i'd like to know who's a dick <laughs> oh that's funny i feel like michael patrick king would be a major dickhead <sighs> anyway uh that's so cool vina um Maggie, you were just like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Maggie. My just like that reviews were genius. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I just, I couldn't help it. It just kind of flowed out of me. I literally told Jay, I was like, well, I may have just blown up my channel, but thinking in a bad way, like, I think I just flushed my channel down the drain because I was like, I can't not talk about how bad the show is. Nobody else is talking about it. And it's that bad. And he was like, I mean, I give him credit. It was encouraging. He's like, no, just tell him how you feel. So I did like these episodes were, I don't know, 40 minutes long. And I would talk for hours about, can you believe how they ruined every one of these characters and really went in? So there's that anyway, uh, Jackie, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. You're always so kind and so supportive. Hong Kong, Jackie. Okay. Tabitha brings up a good question. I never thought of what if you watch on faster speed, does it count how long the original video is or how long it took you to actually watch? I'm going to Google that because I've never thought about that. You guys are brilliant. Jay's going to look that up and see if he can get an answer. Here's the fun thing about YouTube, too. They don't tell you. They don't tell you jack shit. Oh. Kind of have to figure out as you go. Oh, God. Yeah, they are so bad at uh, communicating at all. My channel actually got deleted oh, uh, yeah. in 2022, I think, my video game channel. I did nothing, literally nothing. And it, I just literally, I remember we were in the UK and I woke up, I was just going to see if I had any comments. And yeah. uh, I was like, why is my app freaking out? And it was, then I checked my email and it's like, yeah, your channel's deleted for violating something. And there's no one to talk to. There's no tech support. I don't know if any humans actually work at YouTube other than their Twitter account. That's the only way to get any kind of response. So I had to basically complain to Twitter and say, hey, uh, I'm just a dude that makes video game play uh, replays uh, on my channel. I guess because I don't, on my live streams I show up, but on the videos themselves, I guess where it's mainly just gameplay footage, they thought it was like a bot farm or something. I don't know. I, I literally never got a reason. Thankfully, they turned my channel back on. Yeah, I never got an answer why. I mean, and I literally did, I did nothing. I mean, if you look at the channel, I mean, it's, like 90% just fighting games. It's like Street Fighter, uh, Marvel versus Capcom footage, you know, uh, breaking down certain aspects of the games, you know, some other stuff too, like Contra. But yeah, I'm like, I, I, I didn't do anything. I definitely didn't say anything because I barely even showed up in the videos at the time. So yeah, and I've heard of other people saying the same. It's very annoying. Yeah, so it's like why we dance around certain words. We never get officially told you cannot say this or you cannot do this, but we hear it's kind of like you start leaning on other YouTubers and listening to what they say or how they speak about things, and you kind of have to adopt that. So we've followed some bigger YouTubers' examples. Like if they dance around certain words, then we dance around those words. We've heard for the longest time, if you even mention that C word um, that has to do with the 2020s, you know what I'm talking about, then it automatically um, gets, it kind of shadow bans, like where you're just not going to be as recommended. Same with um, 
that one who shall not be named that people tie the California girl to use your, use your, your tinfoil hat with me. California girl that I'm not going to talk about. The guy who offed himself, supposedly, you know what I'm talking about? The, the island. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that one. I, I can't say his name because it automatically shadow bans you. So there's just weird unspoken rules. I wish somebody would teach me. So that's why I try to share my knowledge when I get it. So that way you don't make the mistakes I've made. And who knows? Maybe I'm too oversensitive on some things, but I try to err to the side of caution. Oh, Rebecca sews and listens. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to help, you know what does help? Notice those longer videos, those compilation videos I did. If you haven't watched those, even if you watch the individual videos, if you go back and watch those compilations, for whatever reason, they really, YouTube likes those. I have higher views on them. They pay a little better. It's not all about the money, but I'm saying it does. It pays a little better. And I can just tell YouTube recommends those a little harder to people. I guess because they are much longer. So if you ever want to help in some way, anything on this channel helps because I got nothing on this channel. You know what I mean? Like I really need to build up my watch channel, but watch time, but on the Real Housewives, if you want to help, those compilations for whatever reason do help if you watch those. But you guys are so kind and so sweet to ask me that and to try to figure out ways to help. I just, if I can ever repay the favor, please let me know. Like meaning if you... If you have questions and I can answer them, I can't always answer them because I don't know. But if I can help, let me know. Um, oh, thank you, Lulu's mom. I follow you, the twins. Oh, no, it's Kim. You guys have so much kindness on your channels. That's so nice. You know what I really like about the twins? I can tell you honestly. They are as nice behind the scenes. They've been so nice and very sweet. And I like that we help each other. I like that they're, I mean, I'll be totally honest. Their overall following is smaller, but they get some killer live chat numbers. They're like, they kick my ass and that's fine. It's not a competition, but I'm saying it's incredible. So I try to learn from them on that stuff. And um, they've been so kind to shout me out and I try to do the same. We try to time our lives around each other. I don't want to be, it's, you know, sometimes it's going to happen where we overlap. It's not on purpose, but we try to be respectful. Like if I know they're going live at three, then I'll push mine to four and, and we try to work with each other. So it's been really nice. It's nice to be able to text somebody and be like, what the fuck? Like when we don't know what's going on or if another YouTuber ticks us off or says something crazy, it's nice to be able to talk to somebody about it. So, yes, I want to say thanks again to Natalie for asking that question. Yeah. I researched it just now and it appears that if you play things at uh, the max speed, which is 2x on YouTube, it does not affect your watch time. Oh. So you could watch, you know, a three hour video in an hour and a half and you get credit for three hours. So that is very interesting to know. So if anybody wants to check out Dr. Bad Bad Speaks and uh, listen to me at 2X, I got a lot of videos to click. I mean, I'm not even kidding. We're trying so hard to get, well, I mean, his and now mine monetized. We'll just... We'll be on the way out the door and I'll be like, oh, let me run your video really quick and I'll just hit play and then I'll set a sleep timer and we don't even know. We have, you know, the, where the Wi-Fi is the same as the computer we set up the accounts on, it probably doesn't even count, but we'll do anything to try. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Liz E says, Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks. That's so cool. It is cool. That was a good idea. Good question. I never, I never thought, thought about that. I always forget that that's a feature. Every now and then I'll get to one of those channels. They probably talk like me and it's like, speed it up, dude. And, and you know, like a tutorial or something. I'll have to hit, you know, 1.5 or 2X to get to. The... Okay. Let me ask you guys a question. Honest opinion. Would it help in some way if I did show myself? I'm not anti-showing myself. I do like privacy. But I just don't know if it'll add anything to the videos, hence why I really haven't done it. And the sugars are pretty rabid, so, you know, for that reason. But if it would really help the enjoyment and there's a strong case for it, I would do it. Just You just got to let me know your thoughts on that. Like, I, you know, I've already told Jay, you're going to be able to see me, especially on this travel channel, when I film mirrors and stuff in hotels and when I walk around... Like the glass reflection in the monorail and stuff. You could probably see me. It's not, a, it's not a way for me to get you to watch my videos. But I'm saying like, 
I've already made up my mind. You'll probably be able to see me at some point, and it's fine. I just wondered, would it add anything? Does it matter? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you have strong opinions on that, and I'll take them in consideration. I feel like this is a core, core group right here, so I can bounce this stuff off of you. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. A lot of you are saying whatever you feel comfortable with. Right now, I'm okay where we're at. I think, I don't know if it keeps growing, then maybe, maybe it's time. Uh, oh, oh, thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate that. Thank you. Michelle says, I think you're fine either way. It's not necessary, though. Thank you. All right. Well, then I lean toward for now, just leaving it, and then eventually. Oh, Philippa, that's really nice. I'd love to see you, but I respect your privacy. All right. Uh, thank you so much. No, keep the mystery. Fair enough. Yeah. Who was that big streamer? Um, yeah, explain that. What happened? Yeah, I, I'm only vaguely aware of this just from hearing about it secondhand. So there was a streamer named Dream. I think he was famous for playing some some game, uh, Minecraft or Fortnite. I think maybe Minecraft. The you know he was the one that like I guess kids watched, and he had a sick amount of subscribers and views. And he when, when he when he did his videos and his streams, he just had like a like a mask on. And it was like two two dots for eyes and a smiley face. And so he's like, I'm gonna do a face reveal. So he took off his mask and then when he did that, like it just destroyed his channel. <laughs> I mean, it still gets good views, I'm sure, but uh, it wasn't where it was. I think he got caught up in a controversy as well, but it's kind of like, oh. <laughs> I used to, uh, well, even on my game channel, like sometimes, I think that's what led to me just keeping it as footage because whenever I would show up on camera or speak and I have a large uh, international audience on there, like uh, from Japan and uh, South America. So it may be where I'm not speaking their language. It was basically poison for my videos. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just not going to show up. But originally I did try to make it before I even did YouTube. I tried to make it as a Twitch streamer. And the only reason I gave up was uh, our internet was so bad. I couldn't stream. And, uh, so I was already kind of out there. I was like, all right, well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jen, Jen's getting, uh, some drinks and some snacks quick. <laughs> I've had a water with me the whole time. Oh, we have a we have a special guest. Hello, everyone. Hawk Hawk. Oh, there's one thing I want you guys to do: to subscribe to my Bob Bobby's and Dad's channel. Oh. You're welcome. Disney, Scotland, anywhere. We're drinking, uh, yeah, sparkling water. We're getting torn up. Yeah. <laughs> torn up with hydration. Woo! Funny, I, I, several people said they've watched Lady C on uh, uh, increased speed, whatever that may be. I used to do that in grad school, actually. Uh, I, <laughs> we had the most insane setup, so... Um, there was ran parallel with the program I was in. They had a like a home kind of a home study version. So they would record the lectures, put them online in MP3 form. I mean, this was like twenty years ago, like hot stuff. Like Wi-Fi was new, and um, so the people that were remote, I guess, doing night classes or whatever. Could listen to them and you know, feel like they were there. And it was only audio, no no video. And I think somebody like I don't know they they missed a class, so they were like, okay, I'm going to listen to the instead. And they were like, holy crap, this is so much better because they edit out all the silence and everything, all the stupid questions that people ask. 
So you could get through like a two hour lecture in under an hour. Or wait, no, I take it back. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. You get you can get through a two hour lecture in like a you know hour and a half or hour and forty five minutes or so. So I took it one step further. I was like, wait, I could play it at like twenty five percent increased speed or fifty percent increased speed. So not only was the lecture edited, uh, I could speed it up. So you know if they talked really slowly, <laughs> you know, just rip through it. So I got to the point where I would do like I think two x on some people, at least a you know one point five x. So I would get through the lecture so much faster. I got to the point I'm just like, why am I even showing up? You know, they didn't take attendance. I wasn't cheating. I was just listening to it at home. And I think a lot of people caught on to that and they started taking the MP3s down where we couldn't find them. So I, I went that. So I was like, all right, we got a good thing going. So uh, we all had laptops and stuff at, the, at that point. So I, I hooked up a big external microphone that stuck to the back of my laptop. Then some of my friends ended up getting the same one. So we all had these microphones and we ran a, uh, I can't remember what it was. It was some uh, audio program in Windows. And we would record the lectures ourselves. So we, it got to the point where we would like basically schedule who went to class what day of the week. And I had an FTP server set up in my apartment where we would all upload the lectures. We had this whole thing going basically just so we could sleep in. I still had all A's so without cheating, so it worked. <laughs> Yeah, I always forget you can do that on YouTube. Then I'm like, well, like they're talking so slow. Usually, like, you don't got to do that on I was watching. I had like how to fish, fix the uh, the washer and dryer or one, or one other. Wait, I can speed it up. Got, got through it in no time. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I'll accidentally turn it on in my car. Like, I don't watch YouTube while driving, but some of them are based on podcasts that I listen to. And I'll pick, my, pick up my phone to move it, and uh, I guess I activate the 2X thing, and it's like it'll start going, blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, please stop. I'm trying to listen. See, Tegan says, if you could stop working and become a YouTuber like others, would you? Yeah, yeah I would. I, I feel like... Um, it's not even like, uh, I don't want to work hard kind of thing and does all kinds of work, still a job, but I think it's more fun. You have more control over your schedule and what you do. Um, I have a good job, but you know, I don't have freedom so much. I mean, a little bit, not like I'm not bad. I don't get, it's a good job, but it's not what I love. Job. Um, but if I could do YouTube and get the equivalent salary, I would definitely do. You know, then I could. I actually have an art degree that I don't use. I could go go back to drawing and painting, maybe uh, do that on some live streams. You know, if I had, you know, the free time and the way to supplement that. You know, and make money. I, yeah, I would definitely do. I, I'd be totally cool doing a YouTube channel time if I could find my video game thing does all right I mean it's cool for a hobby but I don't think it will I mean who knows I don't think that'll get to the point so I'm kind of shotgunning things with Beak's channel trying to find out what sticks Jen's almost back <laughs> taking a break she talked a lot without a water I've had a water with me What would be your dream job? Tegan's asking, what would be your dream job? What about creating for other YouTubers their merch? Maybe, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that would, I'd definitely be open to doing that. I don't, I don't know if I could, if it would be a full-time thing. They'd have to be a really big channel. And I don't know. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, a free... oh yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. I guess, I guess I am doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, teaching how to draw would be great. 
I'm kind of self-taught, so I'm not a very good teacher. But, yeah, I'll teach a few things. Jen actually started out with a kid's channel, so there's a bunch of videos on there where I was drawing, like, Peppa Pig and stuff like that. And, like, it got no views for a bit, and then, you know, it came back months later, and one of I think a few of them blew up. But don't do a kid's channel on YouTube. They, they will make no money. I'm back. I can explain that, because that sounds crazy. Um, I barely talked about it, so it's not that I'm trying to hide it, but I actually have another channel. It is super fun kids learning, but I haven't posted on there in months because I think I have about 140,000 subs, but I never talk on there. I don't actually, it's so weird. I just play kids games. When it first started out, I started that like way before Real Housewives Recast. When it first started out, it was cool, but then they changed the rules. It's hard to explain. Behind the scenes, they changed the rules. Um, and, uh, any kid's channel makes about a third of what any other channel does. So if you ever make a channel, my advice to you is never tag it for kids. They consider kid, what is it, 13? You have to go above 13? 13 and up, something like that. Make your channel more 13 and up. That's why I do like to pepper in curse words, so that way there's no confusion. Even on the travel channel, it is not a kid's channel. They found a... YouTube... Found a way, I don't know how to explain it, Jay. Can you explain it, what happened? Oh, God. It's, no normal person would know this. The only reason we do is because we had a kid watching kids' content and Jen had a channel making kids' content. But if you're familiar with the family, it's that Ryan's Toy Review or... Yeah, it's, basically, it's this little brat and his uh, parents that take advantage of <laughs> They were... Um, essentially like being paid to promote toys and not disclosing it. And I guess it got so out of hand that it, somehow it caught the attention of the FTC. That's the federal trade commission in the U S and they monitor advertising and all the legality with that. And it came down on YouTube and then somehow that invoked uh, like a Clinton era uh, online law about protecting data from children. And at the end of the day, basically, they can't target ads for children anymore or use any demographic data of any kind. So they say, I'm sure YouTube's still raking it in. But uh, so without that data, they say, oh, we can't charge as much for ads. So all the ad revenue is reduced. So uh, kids' content is like a kiss. Of, it's almost a kiss of death. Um, you can still make money, but you have to do like freaking five times the work got to get so many more views. This is so weird to say. I, my top video over there has over 12 million views, which sounds incredible. I think I made less than a hundred bucks on that. Like it's nothing. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not even like, Oh, feel sorry for me. I'm telling you, I kind of abandoned it because you can't, once it's tainted as kids, you cannot come back from that. You can't, I can't even flip it into a different kind of channel. I'd like to flip that one into a travel channel, move those 140,000 subs. It doesn't work like that will forever be marked as a kid's channel no matter what. So I just kind of kind of let it go. But anyway. Yeah, because we even experimented with that one a little. So I'd, I'd made some videos for my my video game channel. Uh, something was uh, There was like a Ninja Turtles collection that came out. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know those games. So I made a compilation of one of the Ninja Turtles games. And I only put the highlights on my channel. So I had the full playthrough. Uh, saved on my hard drive so I, was, I just gave it to Jenna I would just put it up on your kids channel you know they'll watch the whole thing my, my channel won't so she put it up marked it not for kids clearly it's teenage yeah. <laughs> mutant ninja turtles not teenage? not adolescent or toddler ninja turtles mm -hmm. and it, it was a fighting game I mean it was actually somewhat violent mm -hmm. and uh and Jen so Jen yeah she said not for kids but they're like no it's for kids and so on her channel it was for kids yeah yeah that that really that kind of spanked her at so yeah it, it's still there but it's not really I, I had a co-worker they they got on the youtube and they were kind of doing the whole like toy review thing with their kid they're like yeah i'm gonna be monetized soon i i, I kind of didn't want to tell them but i'm like oh i'm not gonna make it they've already uh 
All the blood there all the blood already got squeezed out of that stone. It's done. Okay, but I'm here. It's all good. I we're fine. I'm not trying to whine about any of that. It's all part of the learning experience. And Tracy Lynn says, I guess I reading my children's books on YouTube is out. No, I don't want to discourage anybody. Just know what you're headed in for. If there's a way to shift it, you know who makes the most money on YouTube? It's so freaking annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but there's this weird niche of YouTubers who pretend like they're for grown-ups, 13 plus in YouTube terms, but they're clearly not. It's like these 20-somethings that are like, hey, I'm a 20-something guy, but let's go through, surprise my friend and put a million ball pit balls in his house. You know, something that grown-ups actually do, right? I'm being sarcastic. And they make the most money. They get so, so much money. It's incredible. So it's like have to find something that works for you maybe pretend to gear it older i don't know how to do that i don't know how to explain it yeah i mean that's exactly what they're doing they're still making kids content they just disguise it as not kids content yeah. it's like i mean honestly most of them are probably close to 30 now but they're still acting like they're 12 like i'm gonna put a blindfold on and kiss my or get my kiss or my sister to kiss a uh, dog or, yeah, exactly. or whatever you know it, it's i mean it's literally like uh, if Disney made jackass <laughs> is what most of it is. It's it's all stupid stuff, and it's clearly geared towards children. They get away with it. But we have personal problems with people who I, I don't even want to go there. In case if you fall under this, it's not you. But it just we don't like when people show their kids on YouTube. I don't think it's a place for. I don't think it's a place for kids. Truth. Um, I mean it's fine to make kids content, but um. I just, I personally would not. That's just my personal opinion. Sorry. I feel like I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> if you want to show your kids, show your kids. They're your kids. I personally would not do that. People are freaking weirdos. All right. Um, right. Let's see. Yes, Marsha. I think so too. DIY and haul channels used to be a huge draw. You're right. It's crazy how things change. And then uh, react channels are huge. Like reacting to TikToks and stuff. But then now they're kind of stepping away from that. So I really don't know what the secret sauce is. It's like I'm always chasing something, but it can always be taken away. You know, I I hate that. I don't want YouTube to have that power over me, but it does. I don't like to talk about that, though, on the main channel because the sugars are looking for anywhere to pounce. So I don't even want to give them that. So whatever happens, happens. It's out of my control. I'm just going to work as hard as I possibly can. And I do that. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's really strange, like how they handle that. And if you've ever uploaded the YouTube, it's like front and center. It's like, is this for kids? Is it for kids? It also, it's for kids. And it's because they know that. Uh, I mean, I guess it's because of the legality of it, but it's probably just because they know they can, uh, you know, they can keep more of the ad revenue. Is my my suspicion? Who knows? I'm always afraid of that on my channel because it's video games. But I mean. You can see the demographics. Nobody, um, nobody watching my channel is under thirty. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, it's all old. It's all like Nintendo games up until like you know the year two thousand. I don't have too much stuff that's newer than that. Oh, thank you by saying you agree. I was afraid I'd piss somebody off with that's just how i that's how we raise our kid we're just not we're not into that we keep the details vague obviously just for privacy i just don't think until she has the ability to make big decisions i don't think it's right to put them on her like being on camera or sharing her life with people i think it's really strange so oh yeah that's funny liz says uh dr bad vibe speaks is geared toward 12 year olds right <laughs> that's because he's a giant 12 year old yeah. I, I I can't really argue against yeah. that. I, I do cuss more, so yeah. that, that's You're probably so that's my saving grace. All right, uh, we will probably. I mean, we've been going since uh, four o'clock. God, four and a half hours is Jesus that? <laughs> Holy crap! We've been talking for four and a half hours. But I love you guys. I really do. I want you to know how much each of you means to me, and I I really appreciate everything. But as we wrap up. We'll answer any questions or talk about whatever you want, but we'll probably go ahead and wrap this up because I've been given the gosling snacks, but I think she's ready for a real meal. Let me go do that. But <laughs> um, 
thank you guys for everything. I your support is amazing. Your everything. I just I can't I sometimes I'm afraid I come across as insincere because I thank you so much, but I I just can't stop thanking you because I wouldn't have anything without you guys. Like as far as channels go, without you guys. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So I mentioned Beard Meets Food has recently put up another video. I'll watch that next oh. and off to bed. We we watch Beard Meets Food as well, and we just yeah. learned it sounds like he's not with Mrs. Beard anymore. What the heck? Have you, do you know? Yeah, do you know about that? I haven't. I, I somebody made that comment, and I googled it. And it sounds like that is the case, but I haven't dug deep enough to see where that came from or what happened. Oh, it's cool. It, no, no I, it's okay. It's no, funny. I, I didn't say. Well, I, I mean that's. I thought it was a joke, but I I don't disagree either way. <laughs> Fuck, I'm surprised. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You talk. <clears throat> yeah. Jen, Jen's gonna do a special thing real quick for everybody that stuck around. She'll she'll be right back. Thanks for sticking around, Gracelyn. Not the first time I've talked and somebody fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fall asleep to my videos. They're like ASMR for uh, uh, meth users, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jen, she's doing a special, special secret thing as a thank you. I'm gonna show that in minute technology yeah yes yeah, like she's she's gotta she gotta put something together real quick and she'll show it on screen well thank you tegan thank i mean thank all of you for being here for us i mean these channels wouldn't be, I mean, the channels don't work without viewers. I want, I, I'm going to sound like PBS, but <laughs> viewer, viewers like you. This is where I tell you I'm dating the FedEx guy, Jay. Sorry, that's the secret. Oh, sh <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, Liz, she says, are there any updates on WWE and Vince McMahon? You know, there are. That video did do pretty decently. I need to do an update on that. Uh, there has been more since I last spoke on it. I have a, I am editing a video about the X-Men cartoon. <laughs> if anybody's interested in that, that's something I'm into. And I just want to talk about it, see if it gets any traction. But yeah, I do want to do more on the Vince McMahon thing because it's insane. And, you know, I'm, Wrestling silly, I'm, I'm 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 a fan because of the silliness, and it's it's just been shocking to learn, although not exactly shocking at the same time, seeing what was on the screens for a good portion of the '90s and early 2000s. But yeah, it was a whole uh, scandal, and it's going to keep getting bigger. I think they're keeping the lid on a lot of it until WrestleMania happens, and I bet a lot of people are going bye bye, like. Losing their jobs. Or should be yeah, X Men ninety seven. I, I I watched the first two episodes and it blew my mind. So I'm going to talk about that. Okay, I'm here. I was doing a secret project because I wanted to say thank you for those that stuck around. Are you ready? Everybody, watch your screens. Three, two, one. Ta da, Marsha! Thank you for the idea. You wanted to know if I'd show you my plaque. I'm showing off my honkers. No, there's that's me. Look, see, now you can say you've seen me. That is my hand. <laughs> I'm very tall, and I'm realizing, oh, my God, my finger looks ET-like. That's me giving a thumbs up next to my plaque. That is me right now. <laughs> and, yeah, so that's me. So thank you, Marsha B., for the idea. Yes, there's my plaque. I got it. I know I should have done a fancy unboxing. I put so much pressure on it. I didn't end up doing it. Here, I'll tell you what my plan was. It was to get one of those stupid ass briefcases like that one used on that show. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, 
I was going to uh, open it up that way and unveil it, and then I never did it. I, my follow through sucks. I'm not kidding when I say I really wish I had an assistant. I know Jay works full time, so I can't make him be mine all the time. So, got. Uh, Jen had this big elaborate uh, idea for filming something in France, I think. And, and I was going to hold it and do yeah. all this stuff, and it's just like, we don't have room to pack that. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> when, want to and, bring it back. And how are we going to do that? So. It, it exists. Yes. <laughs> I know. That's me. I p do all this planning and then it, and then I yeah, follow through. But thank you. It's all you guys. I couldn't have done it without you, truly. It's because of you guys. Thank you so much. That's my hand. That's my plaque. Thank you. I love it. I really do. I keep it um, in our living room, I, which sounds so weird. But we have like this built in thing with all these shelves and. Our house is 99.9% .9 pictures of the Gosling, but I had to put this one up because I'm very proud of it. And it's because of all of you. So thank you. It's truly, I couldn't have done it without you. So now what you can do is say, you got to see me over on this channel. And then maybe people will watch it and be like, ah, oh, you saw her hand. <laughs> if I knew it would stay right here, I really would just show myself holding the plaque. I don't care. But I don't, I can't guarantee it'll stay right here. Or some sugar will get hold of it and I'm not trying to do that. So that's why I didn't, but yeah, no middle finger classy. That's right. Are they heavy? No, actually not really. They look like they would be, but no, I don't think they're solid. So love the nail polish. Thank you. Pink sparkles. I'm not even a pink person, but I just felt like pink right now for Easter. So thank you. I appreciate that. I, this is so silly. I like the blue nail polish. Again, I don't usually put blue nail polish on, but when I did Disney, I did blue nail polish, blue sparkles for Cinderella. I'm not that girly of a girl, but in this case. Thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. I love it. I appreciate it. Get a goose mask. So I was doing cameos for a little bit, um, and I still can. I just put it on pause because life is busy, but, um, and people were... I don't know, wish, wanting me to wish him a happy birthday and pep talks and stuff like that. So I was doing that for a little bit and <laughs> I was doing it behind red feathers uh, because I love Princess Royal, of course, and the red feather covering Dum Dum's face. So I did uh, my cameos behind red feathers. The Tanya lady who's in my chat a lot, she's so lovely. Um, she, she hired me to do a couple and one was really especially funny. But yeah, it's, it's just something I've done for, I did for a little bit. I could do it again if y'all wanted to, but I don't, you know, I don't know. It just takes a little bit to set that up and then find my red feathers. <laughs> I sound so lazy. I can do it. It just takes time. But, um, yeah. Oh, Kitty. Yeah. Th that's happening. I think because our Wi-Fi sometimes blows. I don't know what's up with our internet signal here. Sometimes it just is bad. So it does that. I'm sorry. But uh, again, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for being so supportive. I'm so glad you like the plaque. And now you can say you've seen me. That's me. That's my hand. In fact, if you've watched Jay's live stream, you've seen that hand before. Because I like to, he films upstairs when he does his live streams. But I try to sneak in and I'll put like a Hong Kong sticker somewhere on the screen. So you can see me and I wave at the camera. But it's funny because I try to be all slick about it. And like, he's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, I'm like waving around, but trying not to be on camera. So he's like, let me just help you. <laughs> Big meow nose. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for the congratulations and all the, the well wishes. Yeah, last time you saw my thumb, it was blue. Yeah, I don't, I don't even usually have my nails painted just right. Sometimes that's kind of a fun um thing that I take the gosling is do and we get girls day and we'll go get our nails done. So we, I took her for a girl's day. She's so great when we need to film or if I need to just work weird hours, you know, I try to work around her schedule, but if I just need to work, she's so great about it. I try to do special things like that for her. So it's just good girl bonding time. But anyway, uh, I'll take this back down to Catherine, but I think I'm going to wrap this up as much fun as it's been. We are going on can't even believe it. Let's see. I start. So four and a half hours of chat. That is my record. So, oh, Jay's trying to find something funny. So I'll stall while he does. Hey, Gosling, do you want to say anything before we go? Nice. Oh, she says, yes. Gosling would like to come say hello. Say hello, Gosling. Say hello. Does anybody have any questions for the Gosling? Here and ready to chat. Do you want to honk at everybody? <laughs> Um, what's a show that you really like? 
There's this YouTuber I love that, uh, she's called Grace's World. Uh, she, like, films with Barbie dolls, which are my favorite thing. Oh. Trust me, you can see it. Uh, if you see my player, there's probably a lot of Barbie dolls around there. <laughs> and she's from Australia. Australia. Hey, mate, we have Australia. Good day, mates. Good day, mates. Uh, let's see here. Jay is setting up a thing on the computer as well. Thank you so much for being here, Anne. I really appreciate that. Oh, yes, the Gosling has a question for everybody. Go ahead. What's your guys' favorite show or favorite movie? Ooh, good question, Gosling. She wants to know your favorite show or movie. Oh, and then they're asking you, what is your favorite song? Do you have a favorite song? No, I usually just... I like YouTube videos, not songs. Okay. <laughs> but I was thinking, let's see, you liked the movie Sing 2 with the... Oh, yep, there's Jay. <laughs> There's his dramatic reveal, but she liked the movie Sing 2, and it had yeah. a lot of good music in it. Like a musical mo cartoon movie she likes. Yeah. But um, here's Jay to talk about this <laughs> picture. This was right after I had the Gosling. We had gone to show her off to some family and to go look around. Oh, yeah, this one we're visiting uh, Tennessee, right? Yeah. It's uh, the mountain. We don't have mountains where we live, but yeah. I forget the name yeah, of the place. Wherever. It was a, it was a national park. But... Uh, yeah, somebody was talking about a goose mask, and I was like, oh, wait, I've got a mask. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Like, it wasn't planned. It was, I just happened to have a horse mask in my car. And I think he, somebody was just like, did you, did, did you just bring that? And I'm like, it was just a car. <laughs> I just happened to have a horse mask. And uh, it was funny because the horses actually started flocking to me like I was their king. I felt like a majestic beast. <laughs> I think they wanted to get romantic with Jay. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> Tegan says, I thought Jay was getting his birthday horse. Oh. Turns out I, I am the birthday horse. Damn, I just had had the gosling, so I didn't even take in how beautiful, like I couldn't even get near the horses because I was taking care of the gosling. So I didn't even take in how beautiful this area is. Look at that. Look at those mountains. Holy cow. Gorgeous. I want to pet those horsies now. Probably while uh, my mommy was uh, taking care of me, I was probably saying "goo goo ga ga." <laughs> you were a teen, like just a couple months old, so you were in a little carrier. I just remember that. I was like, "Oh, I don't know about all this. Everything was new and scary." So yeah, I was holding you, and Dad was playing with the horses. Everybody's asking. You just happen to have a horse mask. Yeah. I really did. I don't even remember why or because when. <laughs> When we were dating, remember you got it to make me laugh, and then we went paddle boarding, and you put oh, it yeah, on. Right. That was how. That's what worked for me. That's how I fell in love for a horse mask. And then you got me one. Remember a yeah, unicorn? Yeah, or something? That's right. There's the the unicorn one's still around somewhere. I think I think that horse mask is still in my car, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, like under, I've got like a sub trunk, but yeah, that was totally unplanned. I think I just left it in the car for however long and we were looking at all these horses and I was pulled we were pulled over to the side of the road and I was like wait a minute I have that horse mask so I ran and got it and I became the horse king <laughs> hey Liz has a question it says what was the show the gosling about Barbie she watches oh it's an Australian creator what's her name Grace's World her name is Grace's World and she puts on shows with her Barbies it has this fancy uh, fancy studio where she like does green dolls, uh, green screen, and it, it, it it's like dolls, and it she does it like in a green screen, so it looks like the dolls are just completely moved all by themselves, but she's actually holding them. That's so fun. Yeah, she likes shows about Barbies and stuff. Uh, Aristocats is Disney. Yes, yes. That's yeah. yes. hi, Gosling. Thank you. Um, but guys, I guess we will wrap this up. I can't thank you enough for sticking with us, Jay. To plug whatever you want to plug before we say our goodbyes. That sounds gross. <laughs> but hey, if you want to see more of me, uh, I actually do stream and make videos without a horse mask. Uh, I need to find it. Maybe I should put it back on. But you can find me on Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks. 
and twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes and Dr. Bad Vibes. That's the video game channel. Um, and I'm trying to make the Speaks channel take off, so please take a look at that. I should have a video going up in the next day or two. I, I recorded some stuff about X-Men 97 because I, I watched it for the nostalgia and I ended up loving it. Now we... Uh, McMeow is asking, will you be going live soon? Probably not tonight. I've got to do some work. I want to. We've already well, we, we've already we've already been live four and a half hours. I don't have any more in me. <laughs> I was outside. I was outside painting as well earlier. I think I'm done. But I'm here and I want to thank you guys again for everything. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here and being so lovely to myself and to Jay and the Gosling. We appreciate it. And, you know, I really do enjoy these lives. I mean, real talk, this has been so draining, all this awfulness going on with, with the news and just everything. And so these lives kind of revive me a little bit. Um, so... I don't know. I, I, I want to do another one soon is my point. Not just here. I'm talking about over on the main channel and that, but you guys make it so much better. So thank you for that. Purple, is it Purple's Me Pam? Gosling sounds so cute. Thank you. I, I might be biased, but I do think she's super cute. She is Jay's clone. You've never seen a kid look more like their dad. I'm laughing looking at you at this horse mask and thinking... That sounds like I'm calling my kid a horse. I'm not. But yeah, she looks, she's exactly like her dad. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This has been so much fun and meant the world to me. If you're watching this later, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate you all. On the main channel, I've got a bunch of good stuff coming up. I have one. I think tomorrow's is maybe, I don't know. I, I got to give it some thought. Soon is some of your comments that have cracked me up about Megaliata. Um got other ones coming up so just check back lots you know the drill i post every day it's like a weird sickness i can't miss it bugs me so i don't miss i i upload every day but anyway thank you guys for everything thank you for being here all the love and support it means the world to me and i appreciate you all so much yeah thanks for horsing around with us <laughs> i'm glad somebody mentioned the goose mask i hadn't thought about that photo in forever <laughs> yeah i think they do make one I'm almost positive. I know there's some sort of like one or something. It truly is a good. There's definitely that unicorn mask. I have that one. I do, and I actually did paddleboard uh, in that horse mask on a lake. It's the first trip Jen and I took early on in dating. It was extremely hard. You cannot see out of that thing. I was like, I hope if I fall in, I don't drown. Of course, I could just yank the mask. But yeah, if you want to check out my streams, uh, I'm. This has jogged my memory that mass exists. I'm almost positive it's still in the trunk of my car. So uh, I'm gonna, I'll have to find that and maybe I'll make that a thing on my stream. Uh, like a, like a, a viewer reward if you're a witch. One of my friends puts on a wizard hat so I could put on a horse mask and probably not be able to see the game. It just, just occurred to me, but okay, that's, but that'd be a challenge. <laughs> Uh, and then as we wrap up, do you want to reveal or you want to keep it secret the other thought you had of doing with videos? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so everybody responded very positively to Jen's hand. I'm curious how people would uh, respond to my gnarled feet playing uh, <laughs> uh, video games. I had this idea, and it, it spawn it's not from a fetish uh, yeah. thing, but as a kid, if you if you remember the Nintendo Power magazine... It's actually a more noble uh, reason. Somebody wrote in a letter. I guess they they suffered some sort of injury in the Gulf War, and the guy wanted to keep playing video games, so he learned to use the uh, the Nintendo joystick, the NES Advantage. He learned how to operate it with his feet, so he could still play games while his uh, arms healed. So he got he got to the point where he could beat Contra with his feet. <laughs> so I I kind of have a reputation for being able to with my prehensile toes. And um, I was like, hey, I could probably do that. So I, th I thought of making a challenge to beat Contra or some other difficult game with my feet on a joystick. Probably have to point a camera to my feet. If that doesn't, yeah, no feet. Yeah, I know people don't really want to 
uh, see feet. I don't blame you. I don't. I'm not into feet, but from a from a skill standpoint, yeah, I want to show that. I don't want to freaking make an only feet page, but uh, um, I thought I thought about streaming that. <laughs> like maybe I could just say, hey, maybe if I if I do it on stream and just have you know if I'm leaning back in my chair with my hands behind my head. That would imply I'm using my feet. No, that would imply you're using something else. <laughs> well, that'd be more impressive. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm afraid of what that may attract to my channel. I've ar we've already seen a dude in a fursuit uh, working out with no shirt on. Uh, I, I learned that was the thing on Twitch for your workouts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Horse mask and uh, foot play. I'll get banned immediately. They'll be like, there's no way this isn't some fetish thing. And they don't realize I'm actually just stupid. Well, guys, thank you for everything. Everybody's saying, do it. You can make money. Yeah, Jay, why are you holding that on us? Make us rich by feed stuff. We'll get a foot shaped pool. <laughs> uh, thank you for everything. We appreciate you. Four and a half hours. No, nobody else I'd rather spend that time with. Actually, four hours and 44 minutes. Nobody else I'd rather spend that time with than you all. And I mean that. And I thank you. Thank you all so much. And I can't wait to bring you so much more stuff like this. I'm going to leave the chat up. That way, if you guys want to chat for a minute, hey, it all counts toward the watch time. Go for it. If you don't, that's okay, too. Thanks for being here. Have the best night. Thank you all. I'd like to go through and thank each of you personally. I wish I could. I can't. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if there's something you want to see here, let me know. If there's something you want to see on the main channel, let me know. I'm listening. I appreciate you. But uh, I'll leave the chat up if you guys want to keep talking. Have a great night. Take care.